Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with this new tutorial and this is a bronzy smoky eye with a teal liner underneath. So let's get started. So I'm using the new uh, BH Cosmetics uh, Love Sign Zodiac Palette and I am starting off with my brows already done and I am using a painterly paint pot. Uh, to prep my eye for the eyeshadow that I'm about to apply. Uh, I really love the Painterly Paint Pot. It's one of my favorites. I always go back to that. And if you do like the eyebrows, uh, I do have a tutorial on it uh, on my channel. So you can click and check that one out. So I'm taking the lightest like pinky color and using that as my brow bone highlight and kind of blending it down into my crease to help with the transition color that I am about to put on. And so I'm showing you there that I'm using one of those light brown caramelly kind of color as my transition and I am very surprised. As you can see on my face, I am the pigmentation on that is pretty amazing. So I just literally tapped my brush into it and it was full of pigment. So you want to be careful when <laughs> you want to tap it out just a little bit uh, before you go and apply it onto your eye. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions uh, to begin and really working that color into my crease. And I'm um, using that, like I said, as a transition color. And so now I'm starting on the other eye and I always start at the outer corner and working the product inward because you want to start again with the most color on the outside blending inward. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I'm using a Real Techniques crease brush. And this was like a limited, they always come out with the same brush, but with different packaging. So you can find that at Ulta or Walmart, a similar brush. And now I'm going with a smaller blending brush from BH Cosmetics from one of their sets. And I will have all those items linked down below. If I can find links to them, I will link it all below. And so now I'm taking more of a brown reddish color and I'm using a technique that's called uh, the spotlight eye or the sandwich eye. There's different names to it, um, but basically it is doing the darkest colors on the inner and the outer corner and then putting a brighter shade in the center. And so that's basically what uh, the eye, what I'm doing first is starting with the darker color in the inner and outer. And I'm blending that out. So I'm going little by little, I add a little bit more color and then I blend it out until I get it to the intensity that I like. And now I am doing a little bit of another um, darker color, darker brown uh, with more of a reddish base, I think. And I'm using that even further out. And I'm using that and blending that out. I'm using a small uh, Eco Tools a shader brush and it's super tiny because I don't want a lot of of this color dispersed all over the eye I want it just in a target area and I want it to be small to where I can control it I'm not going to use a big fluffy brush for that and so then I go back to the other small beach cosmetic brush and I'm just helping to blend everything out And keep keep packing and keep blending and keep packing again and keep blending that is the key to eyeshadow is going back and adding color blending it out adding color blending it out so it, it just takes practice and now I'm taking the gold color in the palette and I am like so impressed because I'm like this is amazing without even fix plus or anything it's very very vibrant so I am now cleaning it up and making sure that it blends so that I just don't see like a splotchy line and making sure that the darker browns also fade into that gold. Now I'm gonna do the other kind of eye off camera and I went back and I'm like, you know what? I wanna take it to another level and I'm using my all time favorite, 
uh, Stila Glitter, the Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. And if you've never tried one, I suggest that you do because you will be blown away because they are absolutely amazing. They do not crease. They take your eyeshadow game to another level and they're pretty amazing. Um, I always like to get them when they have um, like a little set. They have some in, during Christmas. They have one right now, I think on the Stila website um, that's on sale for like 10 bucks or 11 when they're usually like 25. Of course, they're not the full, full size, but they're a little bit smaller and they're amazing, you know, to try it out. And now I'm taking my, what I can't live without and I cannot do, cannot not do is tight lining. So I took my tried and true black track fluid line and I'm tight lining the a water line. And then I'm just making sure that that liquid glitter eyeshadow is dry. And so I'm gonna come back and do eyelashes but then i was decided to go in first with some liquid liner i haven't done really liquid liner in a long time like this so i am i don't know i just felt like it <laughs> that day so i went ahead and did it and that's one of my favorite liners uh the nyx matte liner and i'm taking some loose la new lashes from salon perfect and I am also making sure that uh, they're tight lined as well. I mean, I'm taking my black, whatever's left over on my black track fluid line and just running a line across the base of the lashes while they're still in the packaging. That way, if there's any like clear, um, you know, um, what is it, the band? Sometimes it can be clear, sometimes, but you can still kind of see it. So I, I want to make sure that it's all black and uh, put that on. Now I'm taking the... I'm trying out this new lash glue. It's Spy Kiss, which is the brand that I really, really like. Um, but this is just like the E glue or something. It's like a cooling effect um, eyelash adhesive. But I don't know. I don't know what it, what I think about it yet. It's okay. Um, I think I still like the original more. And I'm taking my tools to help me apply my lashes. I'm looking down into a mirror and making sure that my eye is all the way flat and extended. My eyelid is extended so that way the lashes just lay on them very easily. And there you go. Got some lashes that also take your eyeshadow game to another level. Lashes really do change everything. They just, yeah, they just add that right drama into your life <laughs> yep and then i'm just making sure that they're very close to my real lashes and now i got both of them on and i'm going in with the uh, sephora eyeliner in uh this really bright teal blue and i do have my complexion already on and I'm just finished. I always like to do the last thing after I do like my complexion is do my under eye uh, eyeshadow. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm putting it in the waterline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to smoke it out with an eyeshadow that's very similar to that color. And I'm going to blend it out. Yeah. My eyes lately have been a little sensitive. I don't know if it's because of age as I get older. I'm not, and then plus maybe too, uh, I don't use makeup as often as I used to. Um, I've started to do it more too because I've been doing YouTube, but it's been, um, I'm trying to get back into it, you know? Hashtag mom life, you know? You don't have time for yourself, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to make time to feel pretty. So um, right there, I'm taking a bright uh, lighter gold in the inner corner to really open up the eye and make it even more vibrant. <laughs> and taking my mascara, uh, my Wet n' Wild Skinny Mascara. This is great for the bottom lashes. And I'm taking that and put, putting that on my bottom lashes. really working that in this really makes your bottom lashes long and separated and beautiful 
which I don't have any of those things, but that mascara gives it to me. So yes, I will take it all day long. And so, and the one that I'm using is the waterproof version too. Just because I think I was going to go outside that day. Yeah, I was going to be outside. I was going to do something. And I wanted to make sure that with all the sweating that we do down in Texas, it wasn't going to go anywhere. And I'm sealing it all, the whole look together with the Morphe Continuous Spray Setting Spray. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I am working it further in just to make sure that everything melts into the skin and looks flawless. Yeah, I was kind of pointing out my little friend there that decided to come out but yeah now we're feeling glamorous and this is the final look so i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you want to see from me next